Here's an in-depth look at the curriculum approval process. A faculty member starts with the form to enter the type of course, justification for the course, and specifics about the new curriculum. Depending on the type of request, different fields will display. You can link the form to your existing course catalog. You can make quick changes to the form if you need to. For example, you may want to change the justification field from a single choice dropdown to a multiple choice checkbox. When looking at the workflow, after the faculty member submits the form, it goes through a series of approvals from the department chair, dean, academic affairs, and provost. These roles can be assigned automatically depending on the department that the initiator belongs to. You can also make these tasks conditional so that it only takes place in certain situations. For example, I only want the provost involved if it is a new course. Users can track the progress of any item they initiated from the dashboard. App administrators can see all the items for an app in the Reports tab. From there, they can reassign, delete, and edit data in forms. Each app also comes with built-in analytics to help you know how your app is performing. That's how to install and configure the Curriculum Approval app